Hello guys, uh, here's a breakdown video on the weekly analysis. In this short video, I'm just going to be showing you guys what are my expectations, my invalidation levels and my if scenarios. Remember, you have to be flexible. You don't have to force your, force your expectation on price. You must be flexible to see what the market is giving and then you move in line with that particular direction. So here's uh, the dollar index. This is the one moon chart. So here we're trying to understand where the dollar is trying to go or we were trying to gauge its strength so that we'll be able to correlate it with uh, other foreign currency pairs like Euro USD, GP USD, USD card and any other currency pair that has to do with the dollar either as a base currency or as a code currency. So first we're going to analyze the dollar index and once we get this right then as we go into other currency pairs, it's just slightly going to be the opposite or the same thing. All right, it depends whether the currency we're going to is going to be the dollar on it will be the base or the quote. So first and foremost, let's try to look. Like I said, today is um okay, today is the 30th and this is the Monday chart. So which means this candle is likely going to be closing today. All right. Okay. Today should be ending on the 31st, I guess. All right. So, which means that we're likely going to be having the close of this candle tomorrow. All right. So, which means the monthly candle is slightly going to be closed. And it is very important for you to know that when the month ends, week ends, day ends, you have to look at how the candle closed because it's going to give you enough information on what to expect. Now, like for example, at this point now, we already have what a fair value gap that has been created by this uh candle here right by the candle of this month and that of uh august all right september there is this price action between september that has not really been re rebalanced so it could be that price will open by the next month and then trade back down to it before it pushes up to somewhere why because we already traded into this inefficiency here that is on the monthly chart all right so this rejection is happening inside this monthly uh cb or monthly fair value gap now this means that price this month or as we have created this imbalance here there is a possibility that price once the market opens i mean once the next month comes which is uh november we might have a retracement back into this level before any push up or still furthermore we could still push right up into this level before we could not have a retracement and then december we continue down this is just trying to to understand what the month can actually do right and since we are getting to the end of the year we are also expecting the end of the year candle to form with also what a rejection so which means that we could either be having a rejection from down or a rejection from the upside so it's very important to look at these things and then like especially from the monthly chart quarterly time frame so that you know what to really expect now when you look at it from the weekly time frame we have expanded so much up into that monthly fair value gap which started somewhere around this point and then we are now like kind of like consolidating but despite the close of last week it was really bullish after it came down to fuel this uh monthly inefficiency here I mean, this weekly fair value gap. When you feel this weekly fair value gap, we saw this huge uh, rejection to the upside and then it we closed heavily bullish. This could mean that price will still open this week as it has already, and then maybe continue higher to come grab this uh, old high at this point. It's still very possible, all right? But I'm being skeptical because of this huge expansion here. This is about... Uh, we had about 11 or 12 weeks straight bullish uh with bullish push to the upside and like i said we could still have a push which will be targeting this high all right due to the close of this candle here but if this candle will have close bearish i'll be so much um convinced that we are going to feel the monthly bc this coming month all right before any other month because as well we have a breaker block here Okay, we also have this as a breaker block and which is slightly just below the one month BC as you can see. So uh, I'm seeing this as a possibility for price to come down to this point before we go push higher, right? 
be testing this uh, breaker block and so on just because of this huge expansion but regardless if we are looking at this at this moment what are my if scenarios and my invalidation zones all right now for this um for the cell idea that I'm talking about, for it to be evaluated, uh, invalidated, it's when price will take this previous weekly candle. All right, the, the high of this previous weekly candle. So I would love to see this high protected. Okay, the high of this candle protected and price should trade lower. If price should take the high of this candle, we're definitely coming up to take this high. All okay, right, we're going to come to take this high and maybe continue a little bit higher. All right, maybe into touching this uh small doji candle here. All right. So um as it stands now, I would love to see how Monday this particular to this trade. Let's see how it looks like on the daily time frame. So this is it on the daily time frame. Uh Thursday close a contraction candle, Friday contraction candle, and today is Monday. All we're trying to like accumulate here or contract. So and you know after a contraction comes a huge expansion all right after contraction comes a huge expansion so where is the expansion likely going to happen now one thing again is that we actually did not have a clear break of structure here as this candle sweep this high came down and closed this much this is like a bearish contraction okay forget about the color this is like a bearish contraction you can see how uh, price rejected so much coming back to close near the opening price so at this point here, we're having these contraction candles and I'm expecting an expansion. Like I said, it could be to the upside, which is which will be taking this high, all right? And you notice that just above this high, we have what? This daily fair value gap, all right? Which is also going to be a draw on liquidity. Let me just label that. Uh, that's our daily BC, daily CB. Okay, we have our daily CV at this point, which is also going to be, which is also a drawn liquidity. Now, if this candle could have closed above this guy, I will put it as a break of structure and we'll get to trade from this fair value gap here. Okay, we'll get to trade from what? This fair value gap at this point for more buys. But now price has reacted to this fair value gap, close a contraction candle again. Now, there are so many possibilities at this point. Oh, like there are two possibilities right here, which means that price from here can push to the upside, all right? Internal range liquidity to external range liquidity. But now, if this high is taken, then that's my confirmation for a bullish push. And then I will expect a retracement to any displacement that has caused this uh, break here to continue higher. But now, if we start to see price coming lower again, all right? If we start to see price coming lower, I really want to wait because what we still have this here as uh, a support level, which is another block. So and price could still want to react from it and still continue higher. So which means that for me to be convinced about the sell, all right, coming down to the breaker block and also this uh in this uh fair value gap here on the daily time frame, which is nested in between the breaker block, all right. I will want to see price take this low, okay? I'll really be patient enough to see price take this low, all right? Because this is our swing low. If this gets broken, then a bearish uh, retracement on the daily has been confirmed. And I want to see price come right down to this point, something like this. If it takes that low, then we'll wait for price to... This is going to be our draw liquidity. Immediately, we take this low. We are going to be one-sided into this level here. So what do we do now? We just have to be patient enough to see if price is trying to take this contraction high, then we continue higher. If not, if price drops lower into this other block and then it breaks it, then we're going to expect further down price movement. This is what I'm expecting on the dollar index, all right? Remember I said you just have to be flexible with your if scenarios and your invalidation zones. Don't just be so much like uh, price is going to leave from here and buy. Like once you are so much um, convinced that this is exactly what must happen, you get to make so many uh, bad decisions, even though price is going to be showing you the opposite, you will still want to force your idea on price, all right? Which is not really that important. So you have to stay flexible as you follow price to wherever it goes. But at this point, when a contraction all right, we are actually contracting and 
I don't see we're not going to we don't, we don't, you can't be trading this type of price action here, right? It's so messy. You can't be trading this at this point. So we want to expect what a displacement either price taking previous daily high as you can see uh, here we have some equal triple tops here for price to clear so we want to see how it goes before we take any trade if that's the idea on the dollar index now let's check euro usd for something to have something like an opposite price movement on it now this is the uh, trade i mentioned last week Okay, about the same idea I just explained on the dollar index. Since where I expect, I was literally expecting a sell on the dollar index, and the same thing here as was expecting now a buy on Euro USD, which price gave us a shift in structure here, and then came back to this 12 hour gap as we took our entry, targeted this high, which this was also a classic AMD pattern. All right, and now we are consolidating. All right, and uh, just that last week, I had this fair value gap also marked out. Like I could say, price could have come back here for another re-entry, but it took so long and it has landed us this to this new week. So where is the low of the week going to be created? Could it be that price will just tap this and expands higher? If it does, then I'm going to be looking to buy from a uh, fair value gap or other block from here to continue the expansion to the offside. All right, because literally I am literally bullish on the Euro USD. But now that's just for I was just explaining this setup. Let's look at it from the monthly chart. Let's look at it from the monthly chart first. Now we have the monthly chart right here, and we also have we have this clean uh, BC fair value gap sitting right here on the monthly chart and before that too we also have what this uh fair value gap that has been created here is the same thing that we saw on the dollar index so at this point this candle is like kind of going to close like a small doji right and it's a contraction candle you know after contraction comes a huge expansion especially on a higher time frame like this so we if we close this contraction candle maybe price could come back up to this fair value gap and then huge expands heavily to the downside into this bc that's a possibility but what if this contraction candle closes and price expands lower immediately without feeling this bc it's still the same not all fair value gaps are going to be filled at the same time but you need to have invalidations and your if scenarios intact all right so we're going to see how this monthly candle is going to close and this is what this is our draw on liquidity on the monthly chart so i'm expecting price to fill this bc first but now we also have this one as well. With this contraction, maybe you could have a retracement back to this point. Now, why I'm so much interested in seeing a retracement to the upside is because when you look at it on the weekly chart or on the, yeah, when you look at it on the weekly chart, we we expanded quite some right to the downside here with so many bearish candles giving this break of structure. You could now say, all right, let's use a Fibonacci to have what? Uh, our premium level for any shorting opportunities. If you draw your Fibonacci, you notice that around this point here is what our 618 level. All right. But this is not really my interest for now. I really don't want price to go this higher before it fills this fair value gap. Okay. Because when you look at it on the DXY, we have a breaker, which is this one. It is very clear. All right. And it's not that far. But when you look at it on Euro USD, it's pretty much the same thing. We also have this level that price could react from it as a breaker level as well. All right. So I want to see price give us a correction before down push to this uh, monthly uh, BC. All right. Now you notice that here on the on the Euro USD, all right, price reacted up from this. Uh, candle and we had this um we have this rejection and now the new week candle has closed if this candle should have closed so much heavily bearish maybe right down to this point i would expect a continuation down but with this rejection we could still see price try to push back up a little bit before any down move let's check the daily time frame now this is the daily time frame it's a little bit really clear here as you can see that we have in what a bullish structure for this retracement all right we had a breakout structure breakout structure here price came back down respected this uh fair value gap again 
and then pushed up, breaking this high, came back down again, retested this other block, and now we are contracting at this point. We could contract from here and then we push higher, right? As the expectation we have in based on the correction or on the impulsive move that has been happening for the past 12 weeks. So we could have what a, a create a higher high. Oh, if this low is taken, which is the low of the contraction candle, then I will expect a free fall again back down now what to the monthly fair value gap, which is right here, the monthly BC, which is it right here. Okay. So we're having this now as our invalidation zone. That's our invalidation right here now. So if I'm to buy, this is going to be my invalidation. I want one price to take this low. All right. Now, if I'm to sell, right? If I'm selling, I want one price to take this high as well. If price should be taking this high, then there is, you will have to wait. And then we'll see where price is heading to. And you have this fair value gap right up here. That's going to be what? Our drawn liquidity. So, this high here serves as our sell invalidation. For any sales that we want to take, all right, we'll be having this as our sell invalidation. And for any buyers who want to take, this low should be our invalidation because if price is breaking, expanding lower under this contraction here, this expansion is going to likely be dropping downward to right down to the monthly BC. That's for Euro USD. Let's check GU. All right, GU is literally still dropping. Uh, we saw how the week closed on on GU. Let's check a uh, weekly time frame. Let's even start from the monthly time frame. Now, this is it on the monthly time frame. You could you will notice that we don't really have a clear fair value gap here again on the monthly time frame on GU. Okay, it was actually filled already, but on euro it wasn't filled. So this means that we have this low now as a sell side liquidity draw on liquidity on euro USD on GU. We look at it from the weekly time frame. We also has expanded so much down, and uh, we literally on this other block right here. Okay, we are literally on this other block level. You could call it demand, all right? And we could be expecting what? A pullback. We have this fair value gap, maybe even up to this uh, level here. We could be expecting something like that before a down push again. We see this other block here to be mitigated. So that's another thing. We also have this what? This fair value gap. So we are actually bearish on these guys monthly weekly and the daily time frame but now we have reached a certain point that we expect a correction all right because it's at a critical level it's at a good pdr level for a correction to start <clears throat> so but remember the draw on liquidity remains bearish it remains down so which means that if price is taking this previous weekly low i'm expecting it to really expand lower to now clear these zones come down to this <clears throat> fair value gap here all right, let's go back again to the daily time frame and see. Okay, as we will also, uh, there is something here that looks so much like a, <clears throat> a market maker sell model. All right. <clears throat> it looks like a market maker sell model. <clears throat> but to be so close to us to what we're trying to get this week, all right, we have this fair value gap here. Okay, we have this fair value gap that's marked here with this color. So price came back up to this fair value gap, filled it, and now we drop in. And uh, again, we tapped into this other block again, and we're still trying to drop lower here, and we're still trying to drop lower. So um, I would say that GU looks heavily bearish coming down to this zone and this fair value gap, right? G yield really looks bearish to me. But remember, like I said, GU, EU, all other foreign currency pairs, they're actually bearish because the SOI is bullish. <clears throat> but the thing is that we've reached a level where we could be expecting a pullback from them. But with what GU is suggesting here, we don't, I don't really see uh, an indication for a clear pullback again higher. 
as prices respecting bearish PDRs. But for now, what I will want to see is if price should take out this high on this GU, and then I'm going to expect what? A, a deep correction coming from this guy, all right? But if not, if this high is being protected, then we're going to continue selling from here and price will drop down into this fair value gap. All right, so which means what? This is our sell invalidation. Is our sell invalidation level. So could expect price as it's reacting from this other block and this small fair value gap could trade from here and we go down. But like today is more really Monday. I want to really love to trade today or tomorrow to actually see how the monthly candle has closed for this guy. All right. Because at the end of the month, it's like Friday in a normal trading weekly profile. It's like Friday. And you know, when Friday, there's always like accumulation to the close of the week and so on. It's still the same thing when you are typing it to a monthly time frame. There's also going to be accumulation to the month end to close the monthly candle and from there now you'll see what to expect. Now uh, that's for GU. Let's check uh, gold. Let's check gold. Let's check gold. Now gold has been heavily bullish uh, from here. All right. Now this is the monthly candle. If we are closing heavily bullish like this. There is no way price in price won't be coming for these highs, and we have been looking at this high for quite some time now, right? This drawn liquidity right up here, triple top liquidity above this point. We have been looking for this, waiting for this to actually happen, and with the close of this candle, I don't think there is no way price end coming to grab this liquidity here. So. Uh, I think we are one-sided coming to grab this. And if gold is this bullish, then sort of other currency pairs will likely want to follow, right? But the thing is, uh, maybe due to the war here is happening on Israel, that's it. Uh, most investors are bringing in their investments into uh, commodities like gold and stuff like that. So causing the prices to really rise. So we could have something here, price clearing this liquidity. So let's look at it from the weekly chart. We have uh, expanded so much again to the weekly chart after we retested this what, this other block here. So price has broken structure to the upside and we have this fair value gap right here. This on the weekly chart, the closest one. Now I will say I want to see this week trade down to this point and continue higher into typing clapping uh, taking this buy side liquidity we have now this is another bc right here but uh, this is really low and with the expansion of gold it's uh well we'll still have it in our plates like price could still come back to it and we take a buy from there so which means that as you have two uh, levels like this and this is coming from the weekly time frame you have to be very careful when you want to engage in any of the pool on the fair value gap. Now, you wouldn't really want to say that price can just retest this one. It can, as this also here is our breaker block zone, right? So price can likely just retest this one and go up. For me, this one can this one is high probability for price just to tap from here and then go off to clear the buy side liquidity because we also have this breaker as we did had this uh stop porch right here. So uh, I'm seeing this one. Maybe price can come to it. Uh, we don't know, but I prefer price to retest this breaker and continue higher. All right. So, but I don't know gold. Gold moves uh, really fast. Sometimes you could push down to this in a day or two and you continue back higher. Let's check how it looks like on the daily time frame. Okay. Now on the daily time frame, this is also this is already uh, uh, this fair value gap. Is a breakaway fair value gap, right? Price has already rebalanced its movement above it. And we have what? This one right here, which is uh, slightly just at the breaker level. So we could say price will come back down to this one and continue higher. All right. Now, <clears throat> this is really what I would love to see. Okay. We are retesting this other block here. All right. So we could ha have get a sell from this other block back down to this point, and from there we 
continue higher on gold. This is also still uh, another possibility, right? This is still the daily time frame. So what this means is that when price comes to this one, you need to wait for confirmation because it might literally come down to this one again. So you have to wait for further confirmation. That's it for gold. We have these two scenarios here. All right, I'm bullish on gold. That's why I'm not having any sell. Uh, I'm not having any sell expectation. That's it for gold. Um, I think that's it. I didn't want this lesson to be really long. All right, guys. So any if you expect analysis on any other currency pair that I haven't touched, let me just see it on your comment section and... I'll probably do the analysis and then I'll send the, the chats to the WhatsApp, uh, to our WhatsApp page, Jugos FX community, or to our Telegram channel. All right. So thank you guys for your support. I'll see you soon.